Hi guys, it's Sarah here, and I'm excited to welcome you to the wide world of Google Flights, aka the rabbit hole of travel enthusiasts. Google Flights works all over the world, so you can use it to find cheap flights over from the US, but for the purposes of this video, I'm going to show you how to find flights to fun places once you're already in Europe. Flights throughout Europe can be surprisingly inexpensive, as you'll soon find, so a search engine like this means a world of travel options are now open to you. There are two main ways to use Google Flights. First, in the Where From box, which is right here, type in Geneva. That's the airport closest to Saint-Genis, a 15-minute drive. From there, you can either choose to search by destination or by date. If there is a specific city you'd like to visit while you're here, search by destination. Enter the city you'd like to visit in the Where To box right here. So we'll say Edinburgh. And then select the dates you'd like to visit. So we'll say maybe a two-day trip. From there, you can see that Google will populate a calendar that shows you all the different prices of your flight throughout the year. And you can scroll through like this to find when it is cheapest to visit your city. But there are also a couple different ways to view your price options. By calendar, for example. But also, if you have flexible dates, go ahead and click the tab right up here and Google will show you, if you leave on Wednesday, December 2nd, how your prices vary depending on your return date. And if you're really flexible, you can see that if you leave on different days, then you can find cheaper options. But my favorite is actually the price graph, which is right here. Just make sure that you're searching for lowest fares for a two-day trip in this case. And you can see, ew, Christmas is the worst time to travel. But it looks like Edinburgh is decently inexpensive in the off-season winter before kind of hiking up again in the spring and inevitably summer. Now, if you know when you want to visit but don't have a specific city you want to visit, Google has an excellent function known simply as Explore Destinations. Make sure you don't have any cities listed in the Where To box and refresh the page. And here's a tab right here for Explore Destinations. Just select the dates you're planning to visit. Um, let's just say the beginning of March for about a week or so, and then hit Explore Destinations. Voila! All of Europe at your fingertips. This is how I have selected travel destinations while I'm over here. Over each major city will display the lowest round trip airfare for that given time period. Even better, if you're feeling Porto, for example, but wondering if it's cheaper at another point in time, just click on the destination and you'll once again get a bar graph showing you the cheapest flights. Looks like a week later might be a bit better. You can also, of course, zoom in to see additional cities in the area. So all of a sudden we have more cities that have popped up that we can look at. But if you're set on your city and your week, go ahead and click on Show Flights to see flight time details and additional options depending on when you want to fly. Generally, the cheapest flights out of Geneva will be through EasyJet, which is more of a budget airline, but I've had pretty good experiences with them. You'll only be able to take carry-on. That's one suitcase, not a suitcase and a purse. And there are no beverages on the flights, but since we're in Europe, you'll probably only be on the plane for about an hour and a half anyway. You can move through the selection process to purchase tickets once you have selected flights. So we'll go the cheapest and the cheapest. And then you can go ahead and move forward. So there you have it. If you know where you'd like to visit, you can go ahead and search by dates to find fun cities to explore. If you know where you'd like to visit, you can figure out a good time during the year to fly over. Either way, it's a powerful tool and I encourage you to spend hours and hours on it like I do. And of course, I'm super excited to see you, so get looking. Much love.